Hello everyone, this is Money Mom. Welcome to the channel. Today, or tonight, I want to chat with you guys about what I'm not usually willing to pay full price for and why. Let's get started and talk about it. First one, clothing. I mostly get my clothes on clearance or a good sale. For example, I think this shirt was like $8. Okay, let's say it retailed for $34. I'm not going to pay $34 for it. I generally pay clearance. However, let me give you an exception. You guys already know I've been all different sizes. A few years ago, before I started the channel, I had gotten down to, I weighed in the 160s, okay? Granted, that's not thin, but for me, it is. Well, I had purchased some clothes from Chico's. I love that clothing store. If I were to get to my goal weight, which right now I don't know what that is, but let's say I worked with my doctor and we came up with a healthy weight for me that we thought that I could sustain and I could be a cop, which is keeping off pounds sensibly. You guys know I'm in tops right now. So if I could do that for a period of time, I may be willing to pay full price for a few nice pieces of clothing that I would keep forever. Part of the issue I don't want to pay full price is I've been all different sizes, which we know is not frugal. So anyway, I kind of stayed long on that one, but you get where I'm going. Okay, number two, jewelry. Why? My One of my friends used to try to get me to wear accessories and jewelry. I really don't like it. And when I do product demos, I'm not supposed to have any rings on. And actually, they cut off my wedding ring during the accident. I've just never gotten it repaired again. Uh, but I don't. I have pierced ears. I've had them pierced since elementary school. I just really never wear earrings, necklaces. You know, I just don't wear them. And if I were to see something, I would not pay full price for it because it's not something that I'm really into. Okay, number three, groceries. I buy loss leader items. Now, and I still spend too much at the grocery store, but I'm not going to pay full price for something unless it would be something I absolutely need. Example, I buy almond milk every week. Say if there's four different brands of almond milk and the store brand. It doesn't matter to me what brand. I'm going to either go with the cheapest one that's on sale or I'll go with store brand. That's generally how I go. I am not picky. My husband likes to always have orange juice in the house. If there's not one that's cheaper than the store brand, we go store brand. So I usually buy loss leader items at the grocery store. Number four, entertainment. I don't spend a lot on entertainment. I just spoke to you guys about going out to eat. I would like to actually go to a movie though. I haven't done that in a long time. But I've done so many things so often, all different kind of plays, fairs. It's not that I wouldn't occasionally enjoy going. I just really it's, don't want to spend $100, $150 on doing that stuff. Okay, number five, most magazines and definitely books. Now that I have the Libby app, I don't have to buy them. Now, if there was a book that I wanted as a keepsake that I thought I could refer to, and like as a reference, for example, if there was a cookbook that I found that there were tons of recipes in there that I wanted to keep making, I would maybe purchase it. But I haven't been buying any books because I don't have a lot of room to put them. I would have to actually get rid of some. Speaking of books and also with magazines, I haven't been renewing um, some of my magazine subscriptions as well. I can just get them off Libby. Now, one book that I'm reading now that's really good and I'll be honest, I'm very particular. Not a lot keeps my interest. You guys know I don't have a long attention span. It's called The Personal Assistant by Kimberly Bell. It is really good. It's hard to put the book down, and there's very few books I can say that. So look it up. Kimberly Bell, B-E-L-L-E, -E, The Personal Assistant. It is really, really good. There's some mystery going on there, but I don't know what it is. That's all I'll tell you. Okay, number six. I don't want to pay for things that I might be able to get for free. That would be something else because there's always items we can get for free. For example, I don't want to pay to have a bank account. I just keep enough money in there so I don't pay a service fee. You know, I don't want to pay to maybe go to a gym when I can do exercises at home on YouTube for free. YouTube is a fabulous resource. I don't want to pay for a book that I can actually take out at the library for free. Okay. Number seven, I'm just going to round this up into one, most retail items. Most retail items I don't want to pay for if I don't have to, unless it's something that I'm going to really, really value. You know, I'm actually doing great with my shopping this year. I'm spending less because 
Honestly, I just don't need to bring more stuff in this house unless it's something I really, really need. So I want to hear from you. What are you not willing to pay full price for? That's all I have to say for now. I love you. I appreciate you. And I sure hope to see you on tomorrow morning's video. Bye-bye.